Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live with another uh, Best Jump Shots video, man. Y'all already know what time it is. What is today? It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. I guess we're going to do this every Tuesday, man. You guys, uh, these are all have been uh, suggested by the people in the comments or, you know, I've just seen them around the community, man. I kind of compile them and do them. And I got a couple here myself. Um, this is going to be my number five honorable mention, man, Dante Exum. And as always, you know, just so y'all know, I ain't trying to bullshit you. I am in here shooting on Superstar, Superstar Casual. So y'all seen it. Dante Exum would be higher, but the problem is he, got, he has a little... A little hot before the shot, man. The shot is pure, though. I mean, as soon as you get it up on the shoulder, it's going in. It's, it's pretty quick. But the problem is, it's just like he has to dribble the ball before before he puts the shot up. Now, for some people, that's good. Some people, that's bad. Some people like the John Wall, you know, kind of like the John Wall where he does that. If you use the dribble pull-up move, he foregoes that. And, uh, you know, it's probably going to be green. So, you know, you can do the uh, step back, all that good stuff with it, man. I mean, it's going to be good. Uh, it's a pretty wet shot. But my problem is, like, from rest, you see how he still has to, he still has to kind of set his feet and uh, and jump a little bit. And that can cost you pressing seconds. Sometimes he does it, sometimes he doesn't. I, I really have not figured out why. I guess if the ball is on the way up, if the ball is on the way way down or up, let's, let's, let's figure it out together. Okay, so the ball was on the way down that time, and he did the, and he did the hop. But if the ball is on the way up, it looks like he doesn't do the hop. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that to try to figure that stuff out. Uh, but I know as a result, his dribble pull up is wet for some reason, man. So I, I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna have to. Uh, I don't know how we gonna have to have to go by that. But uh, you know, like I said, if it wasn't for the hop, Dante Exum will be will be um, high up on the list. But uh, otherwise, he's water. I mean, you can do it off of moves. And uh, my favorite thing was, you know, I can do it off this Kobe escape dribble and then pull up, splash! So y'all know what it is, man, but we ain't got time for that. And so, uh, like I said, barring that, uh, if you can deal with the little pull up and the little hop, you'll, you'll, you'll be fine with Exum, man. So uh, we're gonna get right into it. Uh, this is another one that I that I just kind of, you know, just looking at different shots and uh, testing them out. This is one that I found, James Harden. Real quick shot, man. On this one, you gotta look at his feet, though. As soon as his feet start moving forward just a little bit, Boom, you just let it go, and most of the time it's gonna it's gonna be green or it's going in. So uh this is kind of this is a lot like Damian Little. It's a real quick shot. It's a real quick shot, but the visual cue is just a little bit different. So like I said, you just gotta um if you just look at it as soon as his feet go forward, it's gonna be green every time, man. It's a pretty uh that's a pretty high shot, so so you don't have to you're not gonna get it blocked a lot. And uh some of these shots in here, you know, most of most of these today are gonna be are gonna be high arcs. So that's uh, you see how wet it is, man. I mean, this is is I'm, I'm uh, let's, let's see if I can pull. It. Let's give it the super deep test. Super deep, super deep. And I was late on that. I was I was hella late on that. But that's my fault on that. But um, let's get one one more time the super deep test. That's cash. Okay, it's not cash. But uh, again, you just gotta look at his feet moving forward, man. I think I was a little bit early. Let's see if I can one, one more time. Super deep. Splashy Jesse. So yo, that that's a. Um, like I said, I, I did like this one just because, just because, uh, it's real quick, real reliable, and, uh, the thing is, like I said, you just gotta look at his feet. Jumper number nine is the next one, and this is from DZ the Gamer, uh, he suggested it down in the comments. Jumper number nine, real easy to learn, man, it's just, uh, pretty much like Aldridge on quick, except for it is a little bit slower. Some people can't adapt to the quick, all these jump shots are on quick. But this one, as soon as you see him get it up right above his head, and uh, that little hitch goes in, you just let that thing ride. Just let it fly. Splash! And y'all see, y'all know I don't have like no 90 shooting because I'm shooting with my small forward. So, um, with my small forward, I think uh, outside small forward, the shooting goes up to like 85, so my threes are mediocre. So if I can make them with this, then y'all already know what time it is. Like I said, this is release number nine and uh, by DZ the Gamer, man. And I'm telling you, that thing is pure. This is why it's number four, because, um, you know, it's, it's real easy to read, high arcing shot, splash. You might not get as many greens with it as um, as you would like to, but once you figure out the release, man, I'm telling you, it's almost like, uh, this puts me in the mind of Paul George or or um, a little bit of that Rudy Gay, man. But it's real quick, high arcing shot, and um, you shouldn't get, you should not get blocked. If you do, it's probably your own fault. And y'all already see it's green like city, man, so, uh, no, it was real close between that one 
and then my um and then the next shot, man. And this is one that maybe everybody knows about. Uh, this is uh Kyle Corver on quick. This was by Daniel Rayner. Anytime you're ready, damn right. Uh, and, right, a lot of people ain't gonna get that reference, but look, Kyle Corver on quick. I shoot with Kyle Corver a lot because I play with the Hawks in my um, I I, I play with the Hawks in my team. Or like in the association and stuff like that. So I got Kyle Corbin on, on on my team. So um, you know, I know that I know this shot pretty well. Um it might not be the greatest pull up because it's fading. I don't I don't really like that. But I mean as soon as he gets it up on his shoulder, it's really so quick that all you gotta do is just tee it up and let it fly. So uh that's once again, this is uh Daniel Rayner. He 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 suggested Kyle Corbin on quick, man. And I'm telling you, man, this thing here. This thing here, it might change your life. It's not for me, just because I don't, um, because I like for my dude to jump a little bit higher, and I'm definitely gonna contradict myself. I think I think my thing is I don't like the pull up out of it, cause let, let's look at the pull up. Yeah, see that pull up, I just couldn't, I can't, I can't really, really get it, cause he kind of throws it, he kind of throws it from his chest on the pull up, depending on what you're doing. But you know it's all good. Like I said, if you're a set shooter, I mean tee it up. I didn't fly. I mean, that's all you really got to do, man. So we're going to move right on to the next one. Um, and this was uh, suggested by Kevin O'Connor. Kevin O'Connor. And this is, uh, hey, I mean, this is one of the ones that a lot of people been using, man, since the jump. This was actually my first jump shot that I ever used, but I couldn't get it because I was trying to shoot off the meter instead of shooting off the visuals. But this Ray Allen on quick, man, I'm telling you, once you get it down, I mean, it's, it's really just... As soon as he get it above his head, is, is really what you want to do. And I've been shooting with uh, Aldridge so long that I keep wanting it to be Aldridge. But he goes straight up and down. It's pretty quick. But as soon as he gets it up over his head, you just got to let that thing go, man. So this is uh, Ray Allen on kick on quick, uh, suggested by Kevin O'Connor. And look at that. Splash! And I guess I will be doing these every Tuesday. So if you got a jump shot that I probably missed or that you didn't see in one of my other videos, go back and check those uh, videos out. Um... Go back and check those videos out, and then you should be able to, uh, if you can't find a jump shot between all of these, man, I'm telling you, it is, I mean, you just, you, 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 you might be doing it wrong, you might want to consider another game, but that's, uh, Kevin O'Connor with, uh, Ray Allen on quick. I haven't gotten a lot of greens on this one, man, but it's going in, and, uh, but the only, and the only other problem is it's a line drive shot, so if you mistime it, you're probably not gonna have, um, you probably ain't gonna have much chance of of, of redeeming yourself. I say it that way, but it does go in. That's all I can say. I mean, you see how bad I'm hitting it. I'm hitting this thing so bad. I'm hitting it so bad right now, and it's still going in. Let's give it a deep range test, man. Then we're gonna get on up out of here uh, real quick. The test from deep. Splat! Oh, oh, come on, Ray. Right? You know what? Maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing, man. I'm looking. I'm trying to look at his hands. Maybe I need to look at his feet. Let's look at his feet. Yep. There we go. As soon as those legs cross, you let it go, and uh, and it's gonna be good. Look at that. That looks like it's that looks like it's more, more. Uh... Okay, so when his legs come together, that's what it's looking like. Huh? That's what I'm seeing right now. Like uh, on every shot, I try to find the tail. What I try to do is try to find the tail in the shot, right, so that uh, I can tell you guys what you need to be looking for and how how you can hit it. But it's Ray Ray on quick. It looks like I gotta look at his, I gotta look at his uh his lower his legs or whatever because looking at his hands and this 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 is just for me, looking at his hands, it just not it wasn't doing it for me. But looking at his um uh, maybe that's why I had to change it in my look at that deep range test yes. But anyway we ain't got time for all that man. We are gonna go on right on to the last one and this one was uh I was watching the dude's video man named Young Cody he does videos so y'all go check him out man. Um I'm always gonna give respect and love where where it's due. But um, this cat, he said, this is one of the wettest shots that nobody knows about. And I will tell you that, because I, I didn't really know about it. John Stockton on quick, man. Hey, look, you can just tee that thing up and let it fly. As soon as it's over his shoulder, it's good. As so, I mean, deep range, we ain't even got to do nothing else. We're going to go, we're just going to go straight to the deep range test. Green. Y'all see what it is, man. Hey, look, straight to the deep range test with John Stockton on quick. Splashy Gussie! This thing here is like, I, I don't know, man. I might actually change to this shot, man. Only problem is, like he said on his video, 
it's not a high arcing shot and he doesn't get any elevation. So you might want to be open when you shoot it or whatever, man. But I'm telling you, look, that thing now, man, that thing goes in. And I, I mean, I was hitting greens earlier. Let me, let me try from the top of the key. Okay, let me try again. Because this is the shot that I have the... This is the shot that I had the most trouble with. I didn't mean to do that shit, but y'all see it went in. Uh, the, the shot that I had the most trouble with, because y'all know I play on broadcast, so the shot that I had the most trouble with is going to be the top of the key shot, which on which on mine would be would look like a corner shot, which I got corner specialist, so that's probably the, the most important shot. But I'm telling you, man, this John Stockton, this thing goes in. You might not, I mean, I get a, I was getting a, I was getting hella greens earlier with it, but uh, there we go. I mean, you're going to get greens and it's going to go in as soon as you see it, man. I mean, as soon as he gets that thing up over his shoulder, you just got to let it go. This might actually be quicker than Aldridge on quick. Look at that. Splash. But you know it is what it is, man. I've already talked to y'all too long. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, this video helped somebody out because uh, just doing it, it always helps me out, man. But I think I always end up coming back to Aldridge on quick. But I think I'm going to check this one out. A little bit. I'm um I'm actually gonna probably gonna play a game with this one um in a second to see to see how wet it is. I just see that man. I mean that thing goes in. So y'all give it y'all check out Young Coda and uh y'all give him some props on this video. But I gotta get up out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 360 at this motherfucker. That was so fucking epic! <laughs>